Indian Prime Minister Modi on the campaign trail ahead of key elections in Punjab. Some are already celebrating, whatever the outcome in the northern Indian state. In this drug rehabilitation center, patients say that the electoral season is always a hit in their village. Like all addicts, I love elections and wish we had them every month because it's the easiest time to get a hold of what you need and everyone gets what they want. Normally we have to go out and track down a dealer, but at election time it gets delivered to our homes for free. When they get to the village, they say, take whatever drugs you want, as long as you vote for us. Winning voters over with cash, alcohol or even electrical appliances is widespread in India. But in Punjab, with its tens of thousands of addicts, drugs are used as inducements. And while candidates from different parties have promised tougher laws, it's a different story behind the scenes. Whenever big rallies are held, they gather groups of people to attend them. One group would get heroin, a second one would get alcohol, the third group would take pills, and the last one, opium. Five Indian states representing some 160 million voters are going to the polls over the next two months. In Punjab, more than two and a half tons of drugs were seized in the four weeks after the election date was announced, according to the Election Commission. We are committed to uh, control this menace in this area and our men are uh, working tire tirelessly. Uh, I hope that uh, these elections are not going to get affected uh, by uh, the free flow of uh, drugs in this area. Opposition parties blame the current administration, an ally of Modi's party, of looking the other way, helping to drive home Punjab's reputation as India's drug capital.